Right guys, Gypsy's in Stoke Newington uh, with London Audits. And we're just going to have a little walk around. See what they're saying? And uh, with Gypsy Audits. We'll go yeah, from there, it guys. It's, uh, it's quite a bigger quite station. A bigger. This is what they offer you at Stoke. There is people inside, guys, so I will wait. Probably take it round the back straight away here at Stoke Newton, guys. Right, we're around the back of Stoke Newton, guys. Also, it's my first visit here. And it is a very, very big back gate. And uh, I'm with London Audits. His link will be in the description. Do subscribe to him, guys. We're literally just sat and had a bit of KFC while we're here. The rubbish is overflowing here. I remember when GB Auditor got um, searched right there. I remember GB Auditor guys got searched here. But I think he's deleted that video now because he don't do it anymore. But yeah, we'll wait around here at the back gate of uh, Stoke Newton and we'll see what people are saying, see if we get any sort of interaction and then move on to East London. Still here at uh, Stoke Newton guys. I've actually got a sign saying no pedestrian traffic here. Yeah, I would say so. So it's like Hammersmith, Brixton, and now Stoke Newton. Very, very big here. Yeah. But for now, seems like. Oh, hello there. How are you? How are good, you? good, good, good. Uh, Having a bit of old grub? Yeah, I know. I've, 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 sure. I've seen you before in the video. Uh, I'm here. I've got to ask you a question. No, no, no. So, um, you can always ask. My no. body was on, I'm not that you. Um, um, thank you for letting me know. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, can you identify yourself? Yes, yeah, so I'm a uh, Cotton uh, Ross. Um, well, what's the official name for you now? What sandwich have you got? Uh, I don't even know it. Egg one. So they're not the new. Cotton Ross, Catch the Violent Crime Task Force, based out of the Police Station. Okay. Yeah, so they're a... I'm assuming what you're saying. They're a harness. You know, it's easier to put all the tools on there instead of like wearing the belt. I prefer it because you know I'm when you're in the car, yeah. you, you're I'm white bars, so they're massive, yeah. they don't get caught on the seabar or anything. Well, you, you, you've seen all yeah. the today, or blogging, or... Uh, yeah, I've been on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I think you've been on a video. I've seen you. Oh, I think I've seen you on YouTube. It depends on what you want to do, right? Haven't you? I think you're pretty good at it. Where you based, you said Suffolk? Suffolk Police Station. Suffolk Police Station. Suffolk Police Station. Suffolk Police Station. Suffolk 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 I'm here for a real reason, really. Yeah. Um, in the news, the other day, two police officers yeah. murdered yeah. a dog, or two dogs. Right. Yeah. And one was running yeah. away, the dog. Yeah. They were trying to say the dog was obtained. Yeah. Um, they tasered the, the owner of the dogs. Yeah. Any views on that? Uh, um, yeah. Any views? Uh, obviously, yeah. you can appreciate I'm not going to be commenting on that. Um, as a, as a constable, obviously, you're a very friendly man, yeah. and I appreciate you saying about your body warm. Yeah. But it's like they've got nearly a million signatures now regarding this, so there is a real issue there now. Because as police officers, uh, I can't comment on what other police officers do, because obviously, as police officers, it's, down, it's your justification to do things. Yeah. So, obviously, my interaction with you now, everything I do, if I say, it's my justification. Yeah. So it's not there for me to comment on other people. We've, we've got to run in, we've got to have lunch yeah. and then have a cup. But just, just one more. Just Obviously, you're a very yeah. friendly officer. Yeah. 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 I think, I think um, how long have you been in the force? In London yeah. and uh, Google a few four years. Yeah. Four, four years. Four years. So, yeah. Yeah. you said yeah. you didn't want to talk about individual things. Yeah. Do you know, like, obviously, the sickening cases that we all know about? Uh, yes, Certain so names we don't have to. There's bad, unfortunately, there are bad eggs everywhere, I'll be honest. And have you ever seen any? Not just in that egg roll you got. Not just in the egg um, roll you got. Just one thing. <laughs> You're to always going to say. We can just be mindful of the gates. Obviously, when a 999 calls come out, they do come out. Blue light. Quickly. Obviously, constable. Yeah. Yeah. We are on the. We, we take priority on the highway yeah. as a member of public. Okay. And, Again, and I'm not saying not to. I'm saying be mindful as they come out. Um, Obviously, if I see blue lights, yeah. I'll definitely jump Perfect. because I don't want to get run over. Perfect. Thank you. So, thank you for letting me know about your body cam, yeah. and uh, have a lovely day. Hey guys, this is a constable getting Good interaction. Constable getting these egg roll. That's the sort of interaction I like. Yeah, that was alright. That was quite yeah. polite. To be fair. So guys, this does have a cut. He's a very smiley officer, isn't he? Uh, this is the sort of interaction guys I like. You right know. then, guys. There's the first couple of interactions here at Stoke Newington. I will pick this back up. Try and get a couple of more on camera, get a couple of these questions fired in. And um, I did take on which one of my subscribers said, stop saying, ask him a question. And a big shout out guys, by the way, to Girl With A Camera and Brandon Mitchell, um, who helped me on this trip today. Um, and I am heading to Limehouse, where specifically the officer was who 
uh, obviously uh, murdered them dogs and he is based from Limehouse. So big shout out to Brandon Mitchell and Girl of the Camera. Thank you very much you two for keeping me on the road. This trip was not really planned and uh, London Audits was open and ready to meet me. So we'll stick around for a little bit more guys and we'll go from there. There we go, two for the price of one. Oh, you got to do the gate this time. Because I've done it a few times. I, I, I don't really, I'm not really a troublemaker, London. Oh, no. <laughs> I think our constable done really well there. Someone did it at Hammers before, did in York. Oh, watch it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Blues so and that's twos. That's why we all, we're aware to stand out the way. Yeah, of course. Probably because, you know, something about, you know, put the blue lights just to make us aware. Probably. Yeah, that's nice, nice blue light. There we go. Blues and twos. Hopefully, he's not going to put the sound. Quite polite yeah. constable there. A couple of Mets, a couple of women PCs here, guys. I think it's going the same way. I think these cars are not in good condition, are they? Why? Look at the state of them. I can't see. Look, all that there, all the scratches. Yeah. It's our fire smart car at Stoke Newton, guys. And that first car that went through was the constable that interacted with us straight away. And he actually waved, guys, which is a uh, he assumed it was auditing, yeah. and I didn't obviously give anything away. Because the they will hint, obviously, guys. So we'll wait for a little bit more. And yet again, I'm going to say it again, guys. Do subscribe to London Audits. His link will be in the description. And do show Girl With A Camera and Brandon Mitchell some love. The people that got me on the road. And big up the USA crew, guys. Right, so obviously, are you a police officer, Misha? Yeah? Can you identify yourself, please? Yeah, so I'm DC Goon. DC? DC, yeah. Right. Charlie Rivers 1627. Charlie I'm based? Okay. I'm based over at Bethnal Green. Bethnal Green? Yes. Right, miss. So, the Metropolitan Police and the news oh, pretty much every day. Now, the public are losing touch with you guys dramatically. And the knife bins you put around, um, I've been to many locations and I've actually seen a knife bin overflowing with knives. Any comment on that? Because that, that, that's, that's horrendous, isn't it, miss? No, no, I don't have any. But, but like if people are, people can reach in get the knife do you know what i mean if they're handed in knives you got this knife thing where you say hand it in we we'll give you a 20 pound jd card or whatever and and they can actually reach in and get a knife because if your knife bins are overflowing people are not maintaining them good enough if you go around the country these knife bins which are a very important thing i think are not maintained who maintains these knife bins I don't know. you don't know, I don't know but that. surely miss that should be a priority having um, knives overflowing in a knife bin, that's severely dangerous, man. I agree, that is dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see it on camera, and I was like, whoa. So you're a DC? I am. Detective yeah. Constable, yeah? Yes. So how long have you been in the force, miss? I've been in the force 18 months now. 18 months? Yes. How have you progressed so quick then to a, a DC? I'm a, a direct entry. A direct entry. A direct entry. Yes. I think your manner is very good with the public, miss. Um, so with a knife bin, you're obviously not going to comment, but as a human being, that can be serious damage, miss, couldn't it? Like if someone picked it up, like machetes like this, like something deadly could happen, couldn't it? Because that's the reason you got them, to get them off the streets in a sense, isn't you? And if they're overflowing, you're kind of creating a double problem there, unintentionally, maybe. So I think that should be a massive priority to do. But um, I appreciate your time, miss, listen, yeah? And there's another one. Two police officers, the other week, uh, took away the lives of two dogs uh, via shooting them. Yeah. And uh, the owner of the dogs got uh, tasered. Um, now there's nearly a million signatures to get these two Met police officers brought to justice. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any pets yourself? I do, yeah. So if you have dogs or cats yourself, if you wa have you watched that video? I haven't. Well, well, this dog in particular, was running away and he was getting shot at from behind by this officer and they may say the dog was out of control but the dogs just witnessed these officers tasing their owner who they love nice. and they still listen to their owner and they still got shot and I think that's horrendous miss. there's a million signatures now for this and, and that's on change.org and this is one of the biggest they've ever had on um, amount of signatures yeah. so I think at that point miss as the Met Police with 34,000 of you or whatever that's a million signatures. You've got to comment on it now, surely. I, I can't comment on it. But you're a pet owner yourself, aren't I you? I am so? a pet owner, yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to comment on it today. But they, but they weren't even banned breeds. 
if so you, if, if you obviously with all the signatures and stuff that will go through our to maybe an MP right or departments and then it'll go through the MP and all that. Will it get ignored though? I don't so think you can ignore a million though. I don't think we would ignore it. No. As a source, it's you know if, if the public feel that strongly about it, then we will do what we can. Do you believe you work for the public? I believe I work for bringing dangerous people to justice. But okay, that's a fair point. But do you believe? I'll say it again. Do you actually believe you work for the public though? Like you're a public yeah. servant in a sense. Yeah. All right, I appreciate it, Miss. So 18 months in the force and you're a DC. I, is, that, is that like you said, how, how did you make it that quick? So I'm a direct entry detective, so that basically means that I don't have to do two years as a PC. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I come straight in as a, as a detective and I train kind of quicker than I would as going what, in as What a sort of work do you do then? Serious? Murder quite, cases? And... Um, not quite yet. No. no Are you looking up to that then? Potentially in the future. Do you think it's bad around here? A lot of the knife crime and... Um, there's a lot of crime definitely in this area. Do you, do, do you feel lot. worried going around? Not particularly. Um, you know, I feel like we as a police force do enough to try and get the bad people off the streets. All right then. Do you feel you're doing enough to hold accountable the bad police officers and getting them off the streets? Because five people this year have already died in custody in, pl in police's hands mm -hmm. and more people will die in police custody than police officers on duty. And that's rising every year, miss. So if, if, if a member of public's more likely to die than a police officer, I think we've got a major problem, didn't you? And and majority of that's under the Met's care. I yeah. think three of them cases are under the Met. And we're only in May. So, for instance, three people have died already. That's, 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 that's crazy. I know police officers may die as well, but none have died this year. Why are public dying in custody? I, I don't know, personally. I'm really sorry, but I've, I've really got to get to my meeting. But Have a great you. day, and thank you, you for answering a few. Have a nice Thank you, miss. Right then, guys, that was actually a little bit of an interaction there from DC. I got a little bit angry there, guys, when we're talking about the dogs and stuff, and she's saying she's a pet owner herself, but didn't really want to place. They're so scared to even comment, guys. I tried their little angles, um, but we're still here at the back gate. It's a very active station. Um, for now, share, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll wait around for a little bit longer. Alright, so this is Stoke Newerton's front counter. You have two yellow phones, at looking good condition. You have a smaller one, then you have a larger one. And you actually have quite a very small police station, a little bit of mess in it. But... So yeah, obviously the lady behind counter is hiding now. Um, yeah, so to be honest guys, this has been a mixed audit. Um, I wouldn't have been on the road without them certain individuals I've mentioned, Brandon and Girl of the Camera. It's much appreciated for that. So you do have floors up here, guys. So it's actually a big neck. But I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. They've refurbished it here, look. September 22. And it was open in 1990. Subscribe to London Audits. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys.